Girl, it's been calling for days. I get the no different ways. Then the world is the race. Yeah, we like, uh. None of my people are patient. We look like we on a vacation. Get no invitation. Y'all all with it, then y'all talk a lot, but y'all ain't got the heart to do the mission. I'm hard headed like the juggernaut, but there ain't nothing I can do to listen. I'm authentic and I walk around like I just ate, but let you do the dishes. I'm Clark Kent, but mix the Autobots and mix with everything that you've been missing. Please get back and don't get that involved. Freaking sick, I need a pad of walls. Mean, I'm the king, heavy crown, heavy rain, cat and dogs. Hold me with me if you're asking for it. There ain't much that he be asking for. He just wanna have a pad of with a watch face with little dragon balls. Come on, look, you don't need me either. All I need is this. No coca ice, and I get also polite. You be the man of your city, I'll be the man of my country. You could be the man of your city, I'ma be the man of my country. The girl has been calling for days. I get the in for ways. The world is the race. Yeah, we like, uh. None of my people are patient. We look like we on a vacation. Get no invitation. Yeah, we like, uh. The girl has been calling for days. I get the in for ways. Ways. Addicted to balling, I have to get my cash. The money is calling, got bands, got bands, got bands. I'm addicted to balling. I'm addicted to balling. I have to get my cash. I pull up in my bands, flexing, counting my bands. Started getting money, I see how it feels to be rich. Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 19 on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Atlanta Falcons. With that, let's get up to Atlanta. We're standing by at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. ago it was Desmond Trufant of the Falcons making their way out of the tunnel to the delight of this sold out crowd as his guys get set to do battle with Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. Here's Bosher to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. across the 35. 
Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. No gain on the play there, second down. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. But, you know, has that changed in a big way? The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, the free safety was there, no gain. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And the third down pass falls incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10 at the 20. Four down, four down. Hey. Now it's Ryan. He completes it to Julio Jones. That's a good way to start the drive, 17 yards and a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Here's Ryan, flush to his right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Carl Nassib able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of a yard. On second down, here's Ryan. Flushed out right, looking deep for Julio. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. A big play there, Ryan to Jones. 58 yards. A first chance in the red zone for the Falcons now. They've got a first and goal to go at the seven. Ryan. And he's going to get into the end zone. So the fake spike works, and they score. Julio Jones. From six yards away. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. From the shotgun, Ryan. And this is incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think. And maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game. And maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. they got to steal it and try and gain an advantage. And they tried... They just didn't get it done. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. That was a really nice job there of stretching zone coverage by running that route deep enough before breaking it back towards the sideline and being open. And a precise throw for the reception in the first. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Winston from the gun on third down. Now to the left there and complete to Howard. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can Control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Well, usually you don't think of the quarterback coming in for a no-gain play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Yeah, and how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No gain for the offense, big play for the defense. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Bucks in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. They've got it third and ten here to start things out. Working out of the gun. Winston. This will be caught at about the six. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Well, they'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now let's discuss Julio Jones. He's already approaching 100 yards and has the touchdown, I'm sure. On that opposite sideline right now, they're scratching their heads saying, all right, what do we do? And the hard part is, even if you limit him to a short catch, does that make you miss ability to take it for big yardage and put in the end zone again? So trying to blanket him is very difficult, but ultimately, you've got to find a way to put him on the ground, tackle him, and he doesn't make that easy. They're struggling with that so far. Line of scrimmage, again, the 25, second and 10. Second and 10, it's Ryan again. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Being chased out well. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Now Ryan, buying time to his left. The left side completion to Jones. Ryan to Jones, the Falcon connection there for a first. On first and ten, it's Ryan. Escaping the pressure right. Caught on the right side by Jones. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I really don't think that Julio Jones could be happier right now. Plenty of catch opportunities in this game. He's converted them, and his team's winning. And Matt Ryan 
Ben's happy, too, to have Julio Jones on the other side of these. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about breaking teams down, and oftentimes it's through a running game. These two, they can break a team down through the air. Going for it all. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. Now Matt Bryant on for the point after. Dan Quinn's told his offense, let's try and get two more. Ryan will throw again. Eluding the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. So now, Charles, two touchdowns, two tries at two-point conversions, and both fail. And you want to say, let's go ahead and run the kicker out there from now on. But the problem is you're chasing points yeah. at this stage. So now you've got to dial up more two-point conversions and hope you're successful from here on out. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the coach. Everyone happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that Still offense, first down. they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that will help him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know. <laughs> Super tough. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And it's incomplete. Broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. Offside. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides. Easy call. Mark off the five. And keep it moving. Before reaching the 45 yard line, give him 10. Hey, hey, I ain't folding under pressure, I ain't switching for no. I ain't talking to no cop and I ain't telling on my bros. Ain't no but don't push me fingers itching on that. Plotting on my come up, gotta watch they at my nose. Long nights I just to hit the studio. Now I'm eating steak and shrimp. I ain't eating sloppy joe. Looking to the mirror, flexing now and in his glow. Bust off like a welcome to the rodeo. Shorty wanna push me cousin wearing gold. I came up and made it happen. I was by the stove. Big inside this case is one. Do me dirty, I'ma find you, Leo, out on the flow. 19 with a I got rich by myself. Rather do this alone, I wasn't asking for no help. They keep asking how I'm winning with the car. 
hard that I was dealt. Boy, I work hard for the seat and I ain't buckling my belt. Call my brother on the phone, he said, Broski, you a star. I said, brother, hold it down, soon we'll all be living large. And it's crazy how last year was out my garage. Now I'm in a good position for this life, can't sabotage. I ain't folding under pressure, I ain't switching for no... I ain't talking to no cop and I ain't telling on my bros. Ain't no but don't push me, fingers itching on that... Plotting on my come up, gotta watch they at my nose. Long nights, I just to hit the studio. Now me and steak and shrimp. I ain't eating sloppy joe. Looking. Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Atlanta Falcons. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion. It's all handed over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. him over and he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 at the nine yard line Throw on first down with Ryan. Flush to his right. Oh, he's going to... He's got him in. Complete. And they finally take him down, but not before he reaches the 43. So the big play gets him. Across midfield now for first and ten. On first down, Ryan. Flushed out right. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Falcons. With a first touchdown of the... This offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. After the interception, here's Ryan escaping the pressure. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Matt Ryan, his second touchdown pass of this opening quarter. And the Falcons... getting set to take over the football here early on in the game, first quarter. Now Ryan on first down, eluding the pressure right. Wide open receiver complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness and is chipping away at their confidence. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A nice gain of 21 yards. And when these two are clicking, Ryan and Jones, and we've seen multiple hookups here in this one, Usually their offense is clicking, and that's why they're winning. Yeah, they tend to follow what those two do. They set the tone for either a good day or maybe a tougher day. And right now, we're seeing an excellent game because those two are finding each other. Doesn't matter where on the field, they're making plays. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because he's doing that kind of work. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Julio 
Jones with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Well, Brandon, if we go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator, he should... This offense ready to head back out there as they'll take over with a little over a minute to play in this first quarter. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. On the run, he'll let this go deep right. Got a man that's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Falcons! Matt Ryan connecting on his foot. Touchdown pass of the ball game. So we are in the second quarter now as the offense gets set to take over. They've got it first and ten. On first and ten, Ryan flush to his right. Looking downfield for Jones. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. I know exactly why I tried to throw the ball to Julio Jones there. Yeah. He's never considered covered. He's either too fast or too strong. You always try and get it to him. Especially on those deep passes. Second and ten now. Ryan flushed out right. Looking deep for Julio. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times, trying to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. He can run for it, and he will. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. First down, Ryan escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. Looking downfield for Jones. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing on first down. Ryan. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. And now they come up and spike it to stop the clock. Ryan, flush to his right, looking deep for who and got his man complete. The gain of 39 that time. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. On 
first and ten. Ryan flushed out right. Look at got a man that's caught at the six yard line. They give him a gain of 38. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. Partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks yeah. would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Here's Ryan to throw. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, a five-yard touchdown. And a foul. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Ryan eluding the pressure right. Now he's good. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there, Ryan to Jones. 42 yards. Partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Throwing on first down. Ryan flush to his right. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown Atlanta. Julio Jones. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Final play of the half. It's Ryan. Flushed out right. Now he'll... And that's caught inside the 30. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated. Ready to go for the second half. So we've come upon halftime in the big one. The Super Bowl. The never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now a timeout defensively. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, he's got a man complete. A big play there, Ryan to Jones. 43 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch it. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he's got this way down inside of New England's 10-yard line. A gain of 32 that time. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big-time play right there. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and goal. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Here's Ryan. Escaping the pressure right. Fights him off. Sheds a second man. He's building up some momentum, isn't he? He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. On third and goal, Ryan. Able to push his way through. And he's going to get into the end zone. So the fake spike works, and they score. Matt Ryan, a three. Third quarter action to this offense will have a first and ten as they get set for the next drive. 
On first and ten, Ryan eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. Illegal forward pass, offense. Brutal, so take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down, and now it's second and long. Touchdown. To throw is Ryan. Flush to his right. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Illegal forward Oh, they hate that. Wipes out the big play. And I know this is the NFL, so they would probably fine you for this type of a penalty. But when I was in college, you used to have to do up-downs for the number of yards that you cost a team in a big play. Throwing on third and long. Ryan flushed out right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Ryan. And off his back foot, he'll heave this one deep. And this is going to be incomplete. And the Falcons going to use another timeout. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that will loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Escaping the pressure right. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, 82 yards. And the Falcons add on. I don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, I've lost track of how many times he's been in the end zone. This is just flat unbelievable. Doesn't matter whether you have an abacus, a calculator, just old-fashioned pencil and paper trying to total it up. The number is staggering. What a performance. This man knows how to find the end zone and make it count. back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. On first down, Ryan eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Illegal Let's check in with our referee. Offense. So they say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and ten. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. Ready. 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 
Again on second and ten, it's Ryan. Sliding out of the pocket. And that is incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. On third down, Ryan. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. It's caught inside the 25. And down to the 20. A big play there, Ryan to Jones. And even 50 yards. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Ryan. This will be caught inside the 10. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Back now here on EA Sports. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Again, Ryan. And that'll be hauled in by the tight end. It's Hooper for the Falcon touchdown. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing on first down. Ryan flushed out right. Now he'll let... And got his man complete! A big play there, Ryan to Jones. 42 yards. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. First and ten, Ryan escaping the pressure right. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, 33 yards. And the Falcons... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Ryan eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. The gain of 39 that time. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Time for a break. We're back to crown a champion after this. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Throwing on first down. Ryan. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Kyle Van Noy in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. Ryan wants to throw it. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone fourth quarter you've got the big lead if you're coaching Charles you, you still taking shots like that downfield I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around you throw a couple of picks you can put yourself in jeopardy flushed out right and this is going to be incomplete the veteran Stephon Gilmore able to break that one up certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down but what an effort to get his hand on that one knock it away 
and brings up a fourth down decision. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. Escaping the pressure right. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score. It's over. The Lombardi Trophy belongs to the Falcons. Yes, the Atlanta Falcons are the Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi Trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports If, if the squad ain't with me, then it ain't right. Yeah. Hey. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Same squad. Same squad. Same squad. Drop top, coupe, dodge, raindrops. Big bad plays on Facetime. Squad ain't with me, then it ain't right. Same squad. Same squad. Same squad. Same squad, same squad, same squad. Cross move quick like AI. Can't shine bright like daytime. Stack big bread like waist high. Uh, I don't do lanes. Lil' bitch, watch y'all like two chains. Uh, I done swerved in a new lane. Dang, if you could do things. I came up, came up, who I was down with. You change up, change up, stay far from around me. I came up, came up, who I was down with. You change up, change up, stay far from around me. Same squad, same squad, same squad. Drop top, coupe, dodge, rain drops. Big bad plays on FaceTime. Squad ain't with me, then it ain't right. Same squad, same squad, same squad. Drop top, coupe, dodge, rain drops. Big bad plays on FaceTime. Squad ain't with me, then it ain't right. Yeah, no, it ain't, no, it ain't. They ain't talking cash, so I did the race. That's car with the pace. Did you water on the
chain uh, You know love where I'm from When I'm on the beat I make it thump I need that bread like every crumb Came up from nothing, made a song I came up, came up, who I was down with You change up, change up, stay far from around me I came up, came up, who I was down with You change up, change up, stay far from around me Same squad, same squad, same squad Drop top, coop, dodge, rain drops Big bad plays on FaceTime Squad ain't with me, then it ain't right Same squad, same squad, same squad Drop top, coop, dodge, rain drops Big bad plays on FaceTime Squad ain't with me, then it ain't right. Ay, 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 ay. This is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a terrific matchup on tap between the Atlanta Falcons and the Chicago Bears. With that, let's get out to venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Standing by with the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First open way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. This was the scene a moment ago as the Bears emerged from their tunnel. Ready for football are they, and ready for football are we as the Bears get set to match up with the Atlanta Falcons. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, pleased to be with you. Unfortunately, though, Mother Nature not really cooperating, Charles. The rain coming down, it's expected to do so throughout. And whenever I talk to quarterbacks, they worry less about the rain and more about the wind. But you still have to take precautions. You still have to be prepared. The offense always feels like it has the advantage because they know where they're going when they make their cuts. Set for football now on a rainy Sunday afternoon. And off we go from Soldier Field. On the return, here's Justin Hardy. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. First and ten, Ryan looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick, and he's going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Brandon, when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach and talked about how they wanted to begin this game offensively, they talked about their script, didn't they? 10 to 15 plays, the first 10 to 15 they had on their script. Nowhere on the script was there throwing an interception, I have to believe. Here's Trubisky to throw. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Trubisky. He leaves this one for Howard. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Call it a loss of 14 on the play, and it's going to be third down and forever. Now it's Trubisky. And they finally catch. 
catch up to him and take him down. Jeez, where was he going? A huge loss there. Tech McKinley able to finally wrestle him down for a huge loss, and that'll take us to fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Trubisky. And this is incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. I don't know why you would do that. It's almost guaranteed points the other way. I mean, I get it if it's a late game situation, maybe even fourth and inches. But boy, that's a huge risk to take. Yeah, now they're set up in prime position going the other way. On the crossing route, complete. It's Jones. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. Now it's Ryan. And this is caught. So he fakes the spike and they get the touchdown. Julio Jones from three yards out. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground. And Ryan hit, and he lost the football. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on a two-point try. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And oh, that is going to be a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. And remember, following the safety, you give the football up as well. And they free kick it from the 20 now. He'll return it from the 6. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21-yard line. Now the Falcons' offense gets ready to head back onto the field. 